In this video, you will learn how to use text recognition. Text recognition can be used when you or a student is writing something on the smart board and maybe it isn't the best handwriting or maybe you just want um, that answer to look more concrete. You can use text, rec text recognition to do that. So let me give you some examples. Let's say that you're having a student come up and identify this shape. So they've got their pen and they write underneath oval. And you just would like that, maybe that's the right answer, so you would like to recognize it. So if you click on what the student just wrote and go to the drop down menu, you can say right here, it'll say recognize oval. So if you click on that, it'll recognize the word and it'll actually turn it into whatever you have as your default font. So then you can move that into the oval or however you want to do it as the correct answer. Maybe another student is coming up to tell you how this person is feeling. So they've got their pen and they're writing the word angry. This person's feeling angry. So again, if you would like to text recognize that, you're just going to click on what the student wrote, go to the drop down menu, and go to recognize angry. And you can just leave that there. Um, sometimes if a student comes up and this is just something to think about. If they come up and they write something and they pause a long time in between. So if they write, this person is mad. So they write M and then they wait a long time. And they write A and they're thinking about how to spell it and then D. Sometimes if you go back to the arrow and click on that, because there was a long pause time in between each letter, it's not recognizing it as a whole word. It will, however, recognize M. It'll recognize, oh, that one doesn't even think it's an A. And that'll happen as well. Sometimes the spelling just won't be correct enough for it to recognize it. So it's recognizing a D and a D. So you probably wouldn't have wanted to recognize that A as a D. But those are some things you may come across when using word recognition. Uh, one more example down here. We want a student to go ahead and represent this model with numbers. So they may write 4 plus 3 equals 7. And go ahead and click what that student did. Go to the drop down box and recognize 4 plus 3 equals 7. So it's kind of a nice feature to have if you want some things more concrete. The kids love it. They think it's cool that the computer can recognize what they wrote. Um, so that is word recognition.